<laughs> I'm being serious. With the release of my new mod, I decided that I would make a quick tutorial for you guys, just explaining and walking guys through step by step how you can install this mod for yourself. So we're going to start off here on the home page for the green fire and blue lightning mod on Nexus mods. And we're just going to scroll down a little bit and you can see in the description I have already actually outlined some instructions on how to install it. But I thought I would just go over them and expand on them a little bit in a video tutorial so you guys have some visuals to follow along with. And the next step that we're going to do is we're just going to go to the files here and we're just hit on manual download. And then we're just going to hit on slow download since I don't have a premium account or anything like that. And it should automatically start downloading for us in a couple seconds here. You can see there it is. And as soon as it's finished inst uh, installing or loading, downloading, you're just going to go up here and hit extract all because this is a zip file. So the files are compressed. We're going to need to hit browse. And I've already made a little folder here just on my desktop. Oh, we can rename that there for this tutorial. And I'm just going to select that and hit extract as soon as you guys have found a good place to save these files to. Now it's going to open up and you can see it's extracted and it's no longer compressed. But for now we can just close these off. The next step here is going to be to travel back to the description, navigate down here, and you can see that uh, the, in the instructions here, we have to download the program UXM. Now this is basically like a file manager or unpacker, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to use that to unpack the files of Dark Souls 3. So if you follow this link here that I left in the, in the description of the mod, it will take you to this website. And I'll also leave that link in the bottom description of this video as well. So you're going to go to the Nexus Mods homepage for UXM. You're going to go to Files once again and just download UXM as well. Now as soon as UXM is installed, you are just going to go back. We're going to find where we installed our original mod here, the Green Fire and Blue Lightning mod. Open this folder up. Then what we can do is we can just Put this off to the side for now and i'm going to open up a new file explorer window right click and open it up and what we're going to do is navigate to the dark souls 3 game folder now for everybody it might be in a different spot but for me it's on my c drive for most people will probably be under their c drive it's wherever you installed dark souls 3 2. so program files x86 then for me it's under steam steam apps and we'll go into common, and here you should see all of your uh, Steam games that you have installed. Go to Dark Souls 3, game, and here we are. Now, when you guys first open this up, you probably won't have all these folders at the top. This is just because I've already unpacked the game myself. But the next step is going to be to just drag UXM into this folder here. And I've created a little folder for it, just UXM, and just put it right into here. Within this folder, you're going to find the UXM program. Going to launch it. Double click on it to launch it. And now you're just going to hit unpack. But you need to make sure that your executable path is correct. So hit browse and then you can come here and just view that it is in fact in that game folder that we just navigated to. And you need to make sure that you hit open and it reads that it's going to have an executable path that ends with the Dark Souls 3 executable. And as soon as you've confirmed that, you can hit unpack. Now this other button over here, patch, what this does is it actually just verifies or updates any changes that you've made. And it'll basically save what you've done to the files, but we're, so we're gonna come back to that at the end to make sure everything's all done. And then this last uh, button over here, restore, what that button will do is obviously just restore your files back to the current state or back to the previous state, sorry, uh, before they were ever unpacked. 
And so if you have any troubles with the mod and you would want to uninstall, or if you want to want to uninstall it for any reason, uh, hopefully not, hopefully you enjoy it, but you can always have that option to go back and restore if need be. So once you've unpacked the files, what you can do is just come back to this game folder for Dark Souls 3, find your SFX folder, double click on that to open it up. And once again, you're probably not gonna have any folders up here. This is just because I've been doing something previously. Come back to the mod folder, open up the SFX files. And all you need to do is simply take these three files and drag and drop them right into this SFX folder. And then a little message will pop up saying, do you want to replace the files in this destination? Because they're gonna have the same name, obviously. They're gonna be replacing ones in here and you're gonna hit yes and so you overwrite those files with the new modded ones that have the changes. Then hit the back button, come back. We're gonna go up to parts. And once again, you're probably not gonna have these folders here, but we're gonna come back, go to parts files now, and then you'll see here green ring knight armor. And what this obvious will obviously will do is install the green ring knight armor. And so you just, once again, drag and drop the file in, hit replace, and now it should be updated and you'll have that custom armor set as well. Finally, we're gonna come back to here. We're gonna go to UXM again, open up that program. And like I said before, you're just gonna come up and hit patch. And that should hopefully update any changes that you've made. So all of those uh, different files that we added in and replaced, those are all gonna be updated and put into the game and you should be ready to go. So you can just go ahead and close these down and then launch Dark Souls 3. Okay, so now that we're loading the game here, you can see that the changes have been applied, hopefully for you, they will be as well. And you'll have your custom armor set. And I'll just demo a couple of the weapons. This is what it should look like. And there's the Onyx Blade. Of course, got Lorien's. Well, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the mod, and I'll catch you guys next time.